Today we're continuing our local newspaper tour here in Chester County at the Chester County Independent. This newspaper started way back in 1864. It is now the oldest operating business in the county. For publisher Scott Whaley, the paper is a huge part of his life. My mother and father bought the paper here in 1965, and I was six years old, and I had my own paper rack, and that's kind of when I started. I went from having my own rack to running the paper route to uh, writing some, selling a little bit, learning here and there, and just every aspect of the business I've been involved in at one time or the other. Scott Whaley believes local newspapers are important. Well, I can get national news anywhere I want to, but I can't get news about Chester County and the people in Chester County other than this paper. Editor Kendall Patterson has worked at the paper for three years and does most of the writing. I just really enjoy uh, being a part of the community, doing coverage, whether it be school coverage or uh, event coverage of different uh, big events like barbecue festival or whatnot, I just just really come to love Chester County. Whaley and the staff at the Chester County Independent strive to take a hometown approach to journalism. We have refrigerator journalism. We want pictures of kids and papers and sports and kids and parents to cut them out and put them in Facebook, give them to their grandmothers and put them in scrapbooks. That's that's what we're all about. But the Independent has also covered plenty of the major news stories. So one of the biggest ones that the paper has covered, it was before my time, was the big tornado that hit here in 1952. For a long time, there were more people killed in this tornado than there ever had been. I think there were like 23 people killed in it. To this day, the Whaley family name is synonymous with the Chester County Independent paper. I always think about the Whaley family when we talk about the Independent. They just, they're, they're, they're a legacy to that newspaper here in this community. And Henderson County Mayor Bobby King agrees the newspaper is good for the community. I think a local newspaper is important in small towns. I, I get information, what's going on in the schools, uh, the sport, you know, and uh, just the local information you, that they would that they are the only ones that will cover. Whaley says the paper could not have stayed around for over 150 years without evolving over the years. We're like everyone else. We're changing the way we do business. We're getting more involved in the digital age than uh, we have been, and we will continue to do that. The paper now puts out both print and digital editions. Three to 4,000 copies are printed every Thursday. Every print of The Independent since 1930 can be viewed at the Chester County Library in Henderson. Chester County Independent, made in Tennessee.